good morning. Or, I don't know what's going on. Anyways. <laughs> good morning. It's my birthday. Happy birthday, Rachel, me. I decided to vlog my birthday. Do a little book haul. Do a little reading vlog thing, action. Do a little bookstore shopping. Yeah, oh, the light, it's so weird. Look at my face. Oh, what's wrong with you? There are a lot of trees out my window. So it's speckled light. I want some coffee. I don't want to turn the lights on yet. Right now, I'm reading Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. It is really long. It's a slog to get through. It's very, uh, a lot of internal dialogue. Obviously, it's in the first person, so it's very introspective, and it gets a little boring in that sense where it's like you're just he keeps overthinking things and over analyzing things to a point where I'm like I don't care I get it you think you're a monster you've been saying this for 200 pages thus far the same thing over and over again and I'm just like whatever Anyways, maybe I'll keep reading this today. Maybe I'll put it off for tomorrow and read something else. We'll see. Yeah. Coffee? Coffee. Oh my god. Hi, mister. What are you doing? little speckled toy her name is Calliope might be a her who knows um, the other toy right here the orange one his name's Jeff with a G um, all super cute hopefully I don't have any dead fish no they're all alive they're super happy the rest are like goldfish and minnows a little waterfall so I'm ready for the day. Go to the bookstore, get some lunch, and then come home and hang out. Hopefully you can hear me from here. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> degrees loving it at least it's not a hundred uh, so I just got back from the bookstore and I got a lot of books <laughs> this isn't even all of them there's some behind this as well at my bookstore this one area has five no seven books for five dollars 
So of course I took advantage of that, and I always do. And today was a very good day to get, uh, as you'll see, way too many Stephen King books. Filling out a collection, I guess. So here we go, <laughs> Insomnia. I had to call my roommate and I was like, can you please tell me? I have most of my Stephen Kings in one area. I was like, can you please read off the Stephen Kings on this shelf to me because I don't know what I have right now. And he's like, yeah, and he walked me through it. So I got insomnia. Look at him, he's so young. Oh, little Stephen King. Um, let's see. I don't really know what this one's about. So Ralph Roberts has a problem. He isn't sleeping so well these days. Oh my goodness. I didn't know if he meant actual insomnia. Just, of course I did. <laughs> but what is this one about? Um, in fact, he's hardly sleeping at all. Each morning, the news conveyed by the bedside clock is a little worse. 315, 302, 245, 215. The books call it premature waking. So Ralph, who is still learning to be a widower, calls it a season in hell. He's begun to notice a strangeness in his familiar surroundings, to experience visual phenomena that he can't quite believe are hallucinations. Soon, Ralph thinks he won't be sleeping at all. And what then? That's kind of funny. Um, I read Elevation recently and it's kind of the same concept in a way. It's like Elevation by Stephen King, one of his newer ones. This guy keeps losing weight and he's like, what's gonna happen at the point where I lose too much weight? But at the same time, his mass is like the same, but all the weight is just slowly going away. And um, so this guy's slowly not sleeping. That guy's slowly losing weight. Do do do. I would assume that's what Fenner is about too. Did I talk about I don't think I did. Okay. <laughs> Next one, Gerald's Game. I saw this movie and on Netflix, really good. I did enjoy it. This woman, um, she gets, she goes out with her husband to the, their summer home or something as long as this is, you know, as long as it didn't change too much. She goes out to the summer home with her husband and they're like, let's spice it up, uh, their sex life. And they handcuff her to the bed and he <laughs> dies on top of her and it's like okay what happens now really weird so companion novel to gerald's game dolores claiborne claiborne i don't really know what this one's about but i knew it was a companion novel that there's this moment in both of them where they like see each other um and these books tie together through that so i thought that was kind of interesting um so this is by her own account she's an old yankee bit uh dolores Clay claiborne foul temper foul mouth foul life folks on little tall island i'm a bad reader <laughs> i've been waiting 30 years to find out just what happened on the eerie dark day her husband joe died the day of the total eclipse oh yeah okay yeah that's where it ties boom that's all i'm gonna read about this one okay yeah so the next one i have the companion novel to this one as well um as most of us know richard bachman is stephen king um it's literally a picture of stephen king under and it says Richard Bachman <laughs> and it's like I know you're Stephen King um this is the regulators it goes along with desperation I think that was it um anyways here's a little about the regulators it's a summer afternoon in Wentworth Ohio and on Poplar Street everything's normal the paper boy is making his rounds the Carver kids are bickering at the corner convenience store. A frisbee is flying on the Reed's lawn. Gary Sodderson is firing up the backyard barbecue. The only thing that doesn't quite fit is the red van idling just up the hill. Soon it will begin to roll and the killing will begin. A quiet slice of American 
suburbia is about to turn to toast. Sounds pretty interesting. Yep, maybe I'll give this a read. Next one I know I have. <laughs> I bought it and then I was like, Rachel, don't you own this? But I have a, a, um, a what's it called? Paperback edition. That didn't really signal to anyone that this was paperback, but whatever. A short story collection? Yeah, a short story collection. Anyways, what can you say? Stephen King short story collection, he does those. That's it? it smells like an old book. Eh. Next up, we have The Dark Path. When the Thad Beaumont wakes to the nightmare of George St Stark, wow, Rachel learned to read, uh, he hears birds, thousands of them, all chirping, all cheap. It didn't even say chirping. It said cheeping. You hear the cicadas? Oh my gosh. They're coming. <sighs> so Thad Beaumont is a writer and for a dozen years he secretly published novels under the name of George Stark. Oh, this is the one where his like writer, his like pen name or whatever starts coming to life I think. And it's pretty scary. Oh, uh-huh. Okay, sounds pretty interesting. Um, excited to read that. So the last one is not a Stephen King, but trust me, we have one more Stephen King coming. We're still, this is the seven for five dollars, and this was the last one I got out of it. Maybe it was a weird decision. I, okay, so it hit six books. Well, it hit five books, and then I was like, let me get a six Stephen King. And then I was like, I can't really find anything else. So I was like, I'm going to pick something up and hopefully I will read this. But first I have to read the first book in the series. <sighs> the Angels and Demons. I've been wanting to read the first book in this series, Da Vinci Code, obviously. Yes, at this point, popular fiction. Um, see it around everywhere, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I have a copy. There's a copy at my library that has pictures of all the artwork in it, and I thought that was really interesting, and I do want to read that one. And then maybe I'll read Angels and Demons, because why not? So let's round out the Stephen King, at least. I bought The Mist. I've actually read this book. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's very short, kind of novella length. It is about these people, uh, this dad and his son, that leave to go to a grocery store and as they're going there this like mist starts rolling in and the mist is so thick that you can't see through it and then weird stuff starts happening and it's just like what happens in the mist and they're like locked in the grocery store kind of weird because I also read it just around the time, I think I read it around the time I read Blindness by Jose Saramago. I hope I said that right. Um, so both of which is like kind of trapped somewhere, can't see, whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, we have a bookmark y'all. There's a bookmark and angels and demons look at that puppy he's so friggin happy that's so funny because i was just saying i needed a bookmark it is my birthday puppy the next one i bought was pen pal scary book uh this is in an attempt to make sense of his own mysterious and unsettling childhood memories a man begins to reconstruct his past as the games and adventures of his youth become engulfed by a larger story, he finds that it forms a tapestry, tapestry of unbelievable horror that he never could have expected. I've been wanting to read this book for a while, but couldn't really get my hands on it. So I'm glad that I found a copy of it. And 
I do want to read it. I hear that it was originally from like a story that someone had written on Creepypasta or No Sleep on Reddit. I'm not really sure which one, but interesting. Lastly, Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. I'm very excited about this. This is actually my book club book for September and I had a copy from the library but I kind of like to own um, book club books. I like buying them so that at least I have them. I really want to buy In the Dream House by Carmen Maria Machado but if I come across it I'll buy it. Anyways, I'm really excited about this. I think everyone has probably heard about this like a thousand million times, but it's um, Alex Chamberlain as a woman who gets what she wants and has made a living with her confidence-driven brand, showing other women how to do the same. So she is shocked when her babysitter, um, Amira Tucker is confronted while watching the Chamberlain's toddler one night walking the aisles of their local high-end supermarket. The store security guard seeing a young black woman out late with a white child accuses Amira of kidnapping two-year-old Briar. So, interesting book, very applicable to the times. I chose it because I heard it was like very addictive. And I was like, I'm in for an addictive read. <laughs> but those are my reads. Birthday. Maybe that was, I think I got myself enough birthday presents for this day. right now reading some more uh in the car i forgot to say i was listening to midnight in chernobyl it's a non-fiction you can probably hear perry como eating in the background but so it's kind of interesting it's about obviously the chernobyl uh reactors exploding and all of that the nuclear meltdown I had seen Chernobyl on HBO, been interested in all, everything to do with Chernobyl and stuff like that. So I was like, I really wanted to read this book for a little while and I'm happy to be listening to it. They're right now talking about a lot of like chemistry and like how the reactors work and what went wrong and the shoddy workmanship and all the pieces leading up to everything going wrong. Um, and walking through like the day of sort of thing so pretty interesting can't wait to get to all the political stuff too and kind of learn more about that um, yeah so that's what I'm doing or what I was doing in the car when I was driving I was listening to that uh, I'm right now I decided to just switch over to such a fun age since I just got this and I've really been wanting to read it so switch over to this and yeah I'm gonna start that out <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. so I realized that I would probably fall asleep if I kept laying in my bed and I'm a very bad napper so I'm making myself some chai tea. Tazo, 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 chai tea. How long do I steep it? Five minutes. So yeah, hmm, it already smells nice. 
So I definitely feel like I'm cheating on Midnight Sun by reading such a fun age. But you know what? I'm going to keep doing it. I'm just going to keep doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to take y'all on a walk around my backyard just because I feel like it. Um, yeah, I switched my glasses. So I switched my glasses because it's kind of nice having a yellow tent. Kind of relaxing. Um, yeah. The pond's over here. Having a nice day. This is my avocado tree. My other avocado tree. A couple of palm trees. Here is my pride and joy. My brother bought me this for one of my birthdays. It's a miracle berry. So if you eat one of these, it will make it so that sour food is not sour. Like, almost sweetens it. It coats your mouth. I have a ton of them growing. I wish I could give them away. But who shall I give them away to? Yeah. Uh, it's my gardenia bush. I think that I only have one here. Bye. So I'm so far only on page 14. I'm very glad that I'm cheating on Midnight Sun because I'm really enjoying this. It's crazy because I only really knew the premise up to the point I'm at, which makes me think what's gonna happen next. It's really scary. My camera almost fell, so a little switch of, a little switch of scenery. But it's very applicable to everything that's been going on with the Black Lives Matter movement and everything like that. So I think it could be a very important read for like this day and age right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So it's getting kind of late, ah, bugs, and I'm, I don't know how much longer it'll be light out, it's about 6.30. I'm going to go to the park and read. I was watching a movie, I was watching P.S. I Still Love You, and I was like, oh my god, it's so cute. I hadn't watched it yet. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Stuffy little high school romances. So cute. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go back to breeding such a fun age. Probably go to the park, hang out. Yeah. So, I'm going to meet a friend here at the park, we're going to read together, and uh, then probably see my boyfriend later, and by probably I mean definitely. Hey, so it's the day after my birthday. And I didn't finish up my read, my uh, vlog, my little vlog, um, birthday vlog. So I didn't finish it, but I am here to finish it the next day. I watched some movies with my boyfriend. We hung out, had a good time. I got some gifts from him. I got a really cute painting of my kitten, little Perry Como, that he had had commissioned for me, and. He's so cute in it. Um, but I also got, he had made me something that I asked him to make me. So I'm going to show you all that. That's why I have these books out. These are the books that I was reading in my blog. 
he made me this structure. So, I'm gonna... I had seen it online, and I was like, can you possibly make me one of these? And he put it all together, like, it's really good. He stained it, he, like, varnished it. I don't, I don't know woodworking terms. He did the things that put the wood together for me. And so you can stack books in here, but also if, say, you're in the middle of a book, and you go to bed, because I'll probably put this next to my bed. You can just lay it on top. Kind of cool. I love it. <laughs> so, yeah. That's my birthday vlog. Or vlog. Vlog. <sighs> I've been reading this. And it is so good. Um, I'm probably only on page like 60 or so. But... I didn't actually get that much reading done yesterday. <laughs> kind of more hanging out and I ended up watching like three movies. So yeah, which is funny because I haven't watched movies in a while, but I did have a good time. Thanks for watching and thank you for coming to my birthday vlog. <laughs> Celebrating me. Ooh, that's good.